Hello and welcome to Python tutorial number 77. We can start off today by looking at the piece of code you see on the left hand side. As I'm sure you've all recognized, this is none other than a simple if else statement. In this, we have that if our input variable x is a multiple of 2, then we return the word even, else we return the word odd. By the way, if you wish to brush up your knowledge on if else statements, I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner of your screen to my tutorial on this subject. Now returning to our code on the left hand side, you can see that it's quite a simple example, which I have a strange feeling I might have used before, but never mind. The important thing is, as you can see, this code is quite long to write out for what it does. So, as I'm sure you've learned all by now, coding is as much about being efficient as it is about being effective. So, how can we improve our code? Well, the title of the video gives us the answer. We can use the ternary operator. This is structured as follows. We have value when true, then if condition, and then else value when false. So, we have a condition which can either be true or false. Consequently, if it is true, then the code will execute the first part, namely value when true. Else, if the condition ends up being false, then it will execute the second part alone, namely value when false. We can, of course, apply this to the code we wrote before. We can say, for example, return even if x multiple or modulus 2 is equal to 0, else return odd. And as we can see, we have improved the efficiency of our code by writing it in a single line when before it was written in 4. This syntax has a wide range of applications and can also be used with functions, not only with simple variables. So let's write out another simple example. We can write define a as print hello, then define b as print world, then we can write define new func short for new function of x, and then we can say return a if x is smaller than 5, else b. So in this case, we're using the ternary operator to return functions as opposed to values. So of course, we can test the code by running it, and then on the right-hand side, writing new func of 3. And that will, of course, give us hello, because we are returning the function a, which prints the word hello. And then we can write new function 8, for example, and that will print the word world. With that, I hope you enjoyed learning this neat little trick for improving your code. If you did, then please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. As always, I look forward to seeing you all again next week for another video. And until then, happy coding!